So FM21 is just about them. The new game is just around the corner and most people are now finishing their saves on FM21. Personally, we've just finished a save with Aberdeen, which was fantastic. And in that, I really think I've built the best team I've ever had in a football manager game. And so I want to put that to the test. Over the next week or so, I'm going to be taking on some of your favourite football manager creators and their favourite teams from FM21 to see if I've built a better team than their team. So in today's video, you've seen the thumbnail already. I'm taking on Work the Space, or Jack as he's known to a lot of people. He's been playing with Rasting Santander over in Spain and he's had a very good team, got to Champions League finals, but they're not as good as my Aberdeen team. Right, so here we are then with Jack. Hello, Jack. How are things with you today? Things things are going good. You know, this wrestling team that you're going to be taking on, uh, it's been my life's work for the last few months. They've let me down massively as of late, but, you know, they're, they're going to show their true colours in the match that really matters today. Well, look, obviously, uh, at the time we record this, they have uh, let you down in two Champions League finals. Um, I suppose, actually, we can probably reveal now because this will come out after your final it will. Champions League. It will. This team, uh, I mean, if you want to go and watch a Champions League final, it went up a few days ago as you watch this. I've lost three Champions League finals in a row, everyone. I've just recorded the third final. I've got to try and put on a brave face and kind of forgive them all. I'm livid, Tom. Yeah, I, I've caught you at a bad time here, but <laughs> this is the one that everyone wants to win. This is like the Champions League of Champions Leagues in my Is that opinion. is that not the Club World Cup? Uh, this this is one up from the Club World Cup. Oh, this okay. Is the, uh, this is like the Universe Cup. This is the FM Club World Cup. Can I take it on to other people as well? So, you know, if you win this, you're the best. That's what I say. Is there like a belt? Is it like wrestling? Do I? Do yeah, yeah, yeah. I, what I'll do is I'll make a belt. Um, Unless Zealand beats me at some point and then I have to ship it to America and then that, yeah. at that point we can't then do it because, you know, that sort of takes the takes the mick of it. That would, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? It would be a problem. But uh, <laughs> tell me about your save then quickly, Jack. Obviously, you've been doing this um, throughout most of FM21, right? How's it been going? going so through? we are just shy of 100 episodes. I am Spain manager. I've got a World Cup to see out while I, where I get to look at a few more of these players angrily. Um, we started down in the fourth tier of Spain that's actually the third tier because the Spanish leagues have like a big shuffle after the first season um, we were promoted but we didn't actually move up a division um, from there you know we've got to La Liga we've become the dominant force over about a decade um, unfortunately that Champions League that elusive UCL win has just escaped us and I've not got time to win it before FM 22 comes out Um so it's a good team. It's a team made on a bit of a budget because you don't get that much money in Spain in terms of like TV and sponsorship stuff, especially compared to like the big dogs in Spain. But it's a, it's a little formidable team. Um, probably the best team I've had in FM21, I'd say. Okay, cool. So I was going to ask you as well about your, about the, the way you've built this team. Obviously, you said you've not got much money there at all. Has this been a lot of youth recruitment or has this been just trying to sign really cheap players from other clubs? So it's been a bit of wheeling and dealing. Um, so the team that you're taking on actually has three players who I paid over £100 million for, but that was largely bankrolled by selling on other players. We sold on a player for £200 million to buy a Munich, which was pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's a team that's kind of been built through wheeling and dealing and a few bargain buys. We've got a, a goalkeeper from Montenegro in the team. So, you know, unique nationality, world-class goalkeepers. We love those. Uh yeah, it, it's a fun little team and it still has a few real players in it, which I quite like. We've got players like Tenali, Gvardiol and also Hannibal Medjbri, who are still kind of kicking around. I like that, kicking around at this stage. So what year are you in your save? Sorry. Oh, you're, you're testing me here. Um, I know, sorry. Hannibal is 27. I don't know how old he is when we start the game. It's about 10 years in. Ten, nine or 10. I'm about 12. I'm in 2034. So I think it must be a couple of years ahead of you. In yes. This. Um, so I think for me... Because I've seen those players still kicking around in my save, but they are on their decline now, and they're not quite as good as they perhaps are for you right now. So we're about to go and compare our players. Now, what I should say is that we are playing in FM Touch, because that's the only way you can do versus mode. So the UI looks very different to the base game of Football Manager. Also, in the Touch version of Football Manager, the nicknames that you set in the full fat version of FM don't translate across. So players like Tam McLumper or Bryce Delaney just no longer have their nicknames in this, which can be a little bit confusing. So we're about to go and compare players, but if you want to compare players in real life, 
The best way to do that is via the One Football app, which is the best football app out there to keep up to date with all the latest football news, scores, and updates from around the world. And you can get a detailed breakdown of all of the players' stats from around the world. I mean, you can use those stats to compare with other players in other leagues and find out if your team are better than all the other teams around the world. You can really help me and the channel out by downloading the One Football app from a top line of the description for absolutely free. Uh, Jose Ramon Iriarte. I've not said that correctly. I just call him Jose Ramon. It's easier. Jose um, Ramon. I've got him. He is. Talk, talk you through him. Uh, he's a weird player. I mean, he can play down the middle or out on the left wing, but he has no concept of left midfield. Uh, very technically gifted. Signed from Barcelona for 100 million. And he's also really tall, which is a bit weird for like a playmaker I play on the wing. Yeah, definitely. I, I can see some fantastic attributes here, particularly those physicals. Like, they are r sky high. Technique 20 as well. His mentals are also very good, like, for what he does. Like, there's nothing below a 17, like, as a attacker yeah, midfielder. Yeah, for what you really need. Nice. Yeah, exactly. That is so, so good. I feel like I've got a player that can compare, though. This is like I've top got, trumps, isn't it? It, it is like top trumps. <laughs> I've got Jan Cavalcanti in my team. Okay, so I'm now comparing Jose and Jan together. And actually, this is tight. Because I've got them on my little polygon thing. Oh, have you? Let me whap out the polygon. And, I mean, obviously, Jose, given that he is a good few inches taller than Jan, is, is so much better in the air. But I'd like to think that's maybe not quite so important for the attacking midfield role. Vision. I can't believe Jose's vision's well good. 18 overall, it's given it here. Yeah, he's obviously got 18 vision, 18 passing and uh what has he got for flair 18 flair as well he's just very very creative is jose he just he loves creating things doesn't he has he won like a uh, ballon d'or or something like that he, as well? he hasn't he's only 21 or oh, no 22 now actually in game oh, yeah i've just seen that so he's, wow. he's really young like he's he's it's a bit of a shit it's one of those players where it's kind of going to be like well, how good is he going to end up being you know when you holiday yeah. into the future and see because i think he's he's pretty mad for his age yeah, that is mental, actually, considering he's 22 years old. Because Cavalcanti has won a couple of Ballon d'Ors for me, but I I think overall... I mean, technicals, I'm comparing just the attributes now. Technically, Cavalcanti is better, but not necessarily in all the areas that maybe is is what Jose is good at, right? Because Cavalcanti, for me, plays as a shadow striker. Oh, so okay. I was going to say, he did look touch. like a bit of a striker with the polygon. Yeah, so he sort of plays in that sort of role for me. And he's won a couple of Ballon d'Ors, but I think Jose, with a bit more development... It's a few the, more years. Uh, I mean, I at, the at the time we're sat country. here, I'm taking him to the World Cup as Spain manager. So I'm hoping he's not going to let me down there. Like, I mean, imagine if I'd done the World Cup and he let me down there. I'd be even more bitter than I am about my own players. Yeah, that would be horrible. But <laughs> I, I reckon he's going to pull it out of the bag for club and country. I, oh, I hope, I hope you're right. Okay, right. Who's the next player you want to have a look at then? Um, This is going to be a weird one, but I think he's quite interesting. It's a ball-winning midfielder. And it's Stefan Capanu. Okay. Now, when you look at Stefan, now, the there's, a bit, there's a bit of a yeah, there's a bit of a story here because he started as a right back, and I decide I looked at his attributes and was like, he is a ball winning midfielder. Like his mentals for a ball winning midfielder are absolutely kind of insane. In fact, his physicals yes. as well are really good for a ball winning midfielder. Um, he's not going to do anything going forward, but like I mean, you can see them. I mean, seventeen positioning, eighteen teamwork, eighteen work rate. 18 bravery, 20 aggression. I just, I love him. Yeah, this guy is absolutely class as a ball winner. I can see why he changed him. You look at the crossing and dribbling, not particularly good. I mean, pace and acceleration is not, you know, especially high for a, for a wing back, for example. So I can see why you've completely switched him up there. He yeah. He does look fantastic. He's a I'm weird a one, fan. though, because he's not very fashionable. Like, you look at the polygon and it's just like, oh, he's a bit underwhelming. But then you actually look at, like, specific role stuff. It's like, oh, he's good. Yeah, I'm trying to think of who I could even compare him to in my team, actually. Are you a total really... football team? Do you have to have everyone who could do everything? Is that the Well, the I don't Tom really have a ball winner. That's the thing. I think, who, who would I compare him to in my squad if I was going to choose anyone? Because I've got a guy called Baptiste Bont, but he's more of a playmaker. I play Jordan 4, but he's kind of a Mazar. I guess if, it, if I was, if was going to play a ball winner, it might be Jordan 4. Who is, uh, I'm looking, he's very position. good. I'm just looking at him now. Uh, and I'll compare him with Stefan. And I mean, you've, you, you've, ki you've killed Stefan there with the polygon. Po Stefan is dead. Ah, look, <laughs> the polygon is very much in Jordan 4's favour, but he's not necessarily a ball winner. And I feel like that's 
that's the thing. Like Kapanu probably isn't like best overall ability, but he's just a bit of a specialist. Like like you said, it's yes. not really anything else he can do. Like if I don't need a ball winner, it's a bit of a waste of time having him. Yeah, hundred percent. But I do. I- I'm surprised that the polygons done him so dirty here. Actually, it's weird because I'm now looking like the head-to-head comparison for a ball winner, and like he probably edges it just as a ball winner. Obviously, he's not a complete footballer. I mean, Jordan's mentals are mental, aren't they? I'm now looking at some of those. Yeah, they are through the roof. Uh, I I like to put emphasis on mental attributes when I'm signing players and developing players. That's what I think makes a pretty decent player. Only five uh, jumping reach, though. Yeah, so he's not going to be winning balls and, in the and, air and or nine like long that. throws. We are all about long throws with Kapanu. Oh yeah, I can see that. He's got, <laughs> that's got some good long throws. <laughs> But yeah, I guess I guess Jordan Four is uh, five seven as well compared to the six foot Capano. But I I feel like the game's done him dirty here on the reports and the attributes. And I'm stuff. not happy. Think... I'll take it up with Sports Interactive personally. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Send him a strongly worded message to Miles. I reckon he'll appreciate that. I'm sure he will. And then the final player then that you want to be um, uh, looking at. Let's go with Alejandro Gomez. We've had a midfielder. We've had I guess. Iriarte is more of a midfielder as well. I was going to say, we'll get a defender. But yeah, Alejandro Gomez, I'm playing him at right back. He's probably the, the world's best centre-back in my universe, but I can't find any other wing back. So he just plays at right back when I need him to. Yeah, those physicals are just absolutely superb for like a right back. Like He is through the roof there. And I can see what you mean by being a great centre-back. He's tall, he's got good heading, good marking, good tackling. Passing's pretty decent as well, so he could be a good ball winner. But I can definitely see why you are playing them at right. I mean, you look at the technicals below a 10. Obviously, crossing isn't ideal, but then you're just looking at finishing free kick-taking and corners. Like, you could probably stick him anywhere and you do an okay job, really. He'd probably be a pretty good, like, playmaker, register, maybe. I'm now sat thinking, should I have trained him as a ball-winning midfielder instead of Capanu? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) That's now now what I'm wondering. No, I think Capanu is probably better to go in there because this guy is probably slightly better on the wings and stuff like that, uh, bombing up and down and providing the assistance that way. Yeah. I do like the look of him. Now, I've got two players that could compare. One's called Reyes de Souza, but actually, I think he's actually called something else because we can't, haven't got nicknames here. And I don't <laughs> know what his name actually is. What so, nationality is he? Can we find him that way? Reyes de Souza, uh, he is... Uh, I can't remember what his nationality is at this stage either. <laughs> I love uh, it. What, what we'll do instead is we'll find the other guy. I'm going to go in my squad to find this guy quickly. Uh, he's playing right back right now. Fabrice de Klerk, that's the one. Let's, Fabrice, uh, let's have a look compare these two together Alejandro Gomez and Fabrice de Klerk and Alejandro I think takes it maybe it's weird with Alejandro because you kind of look at the shape of his polygon when you're on his player screen and go well, he's not a very good wing back but then you don't really appreciate how good he actually is yeah. going forward and stuff just because everything else is so good yeah he is such a solid play he's such an all-rounder isn't he yeah, it's it's kind of mad. And like you said, the physicals like are just kind of outrageous for a centre-back or a right-back, really. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to highlight the key attributes for uh, wing-back on attack. That's usually what I, what I go for. And I think going forward, maybe Fabrice is better. He's got the better crossing and the dribbling. Um, and I guess slightly better technique as well and better passing. So going forward, yeah. But other than that, I think Alejandro sort of takes it everywhere else. Mentals and physicals completely. And actually, most technicals too. Alejandro's so so good. Yeah, I spent a hundred million on him, so it was quite a lot of money to splurge in the last window. But I do, I do think it was probably worth it. I think so. I think it, yeah, definitely worth it. It got to a Champions League final at least. That's the main thing. Got, yeah, it's true. <laughs> only one, only one he was there for. Um, can we do one more player? Sorry, I want to see your goalkeeper, Tom. Okay, let's. I, I'm quite proud of my goalkeeper, so you know I want to learn more about yours and then. Be okay. sad, mine's not as good. Which one are we talking about then here? Wh- whichever one is like your starter, really. Um, yeah, so my starter is Peter. Is, is uh, that That's oh, not a nickname. His name is just Peter, just to clarify. Yeah, his name actually is just Peter. <laughs> yeah, Peter. That's his name from Brazil. So he's obviously only got he's one name. He's very complete, isn't he? Yeah, he is super. We got very lucky uh, with this guy signing him um, pretty cheap from some niche Brazilian team. Because we did have a... Uh, goalkeeper from I think it was, I want to say Colombia who was insane but then we just got a mental bid coming in from I think it was Roma in the end so we sold him to Roma brought this guy in instead and we haven't looked back since basically has he like won world goalkeeper of the year or anything has he he 
I don't think he's won World Goalkeeper of the Year, but he's definitely been in the like Champions League Dream Eleven and stuff like that. I don't think he's ever actually won the top award. Because mine, mine that. has won the top award, and I don't know how he's managed it. Okay, which one are we talking about? Well, look about Liridon Ramadani. Okay, let me just find him quick. For £7 million, this man. And I'll compare the two of these guys together. I, I noticed with your team, so. lots of South Americans. I can't do, can't do that in uh-huh. Spain. They don't let me ship them in. I, I've been very lucky with all the South Americans and work permits. So I'm at the point where, I think it was at one point, seven of the Brazilian national starting lineup were playing for Aberdeen, <laughs> which was fantastic. I love that. <laughs> We had a bit That's of an exclave over in Aberdeen. <laughs> That's what football managers like dream of, I feel like. It is. It's, it's just it's the absolute dream. And then we brought in loads of Argentinians as well. So we've got quite a big South American company. And Belgian, actually. A lot of Belgian players, too. They've produced some good uh, regens through this. Oh, have they? Uh, that's interesting because there was always good Belgians, but I could never afford them. They, like, they always yeah. went to the other teams first. I always got pretty lucky finding them from like the, the actual Belgian clubs and I, I managing to get them pretty young there um, apart from a couple who I did spend a lot of money on De Klerk being one of them the uh, the wing back actually and Jordan Four as uh, he might have been French actually no, it was Baptiste Bont we brought in who was over 100 million uh, he's Belgian brought him in for the final season but I'm comparing the two keepers here and it's difficult to say who's better because so with Ramadan he's not a complete goalkeeper he's not Pep's goalkeeper but he mm. stops so like a noticeably large amount that goes on yeah, the goal. Yeah, the shot stopping is so good. And like he, he's a bit of a leader in the dressing room. He's he's pretty good physically for a goalkeeper, other than like his speed off the line. But he's a, I don't want to say he's a one trick pony, but obviously he's all about like aerial reach, one on ones, and reflexes. Like he's a he's a shot stopper and not a lot more. Yeah, I can see that. He's got uh, relatively high eccentricity. Do you find that a bit of an issue, or? Uh, I mean, he's never done a scorpion kick. I'm still waiting. Do we? St- do we even know what eccentricity does? I, I the- mean, I just assume they just sometimes just go a bit mental and go for like a one on one, which is like twenty yards out. When I, I, he's never done any. To. He's never done anything where I've looked at him on you donkey. So, I get. I guess he's done. His, I mean, as I said, he's like been in the. He, he's won like best goalkeeper in the Champions League, even when we've not won it. He's won world goalkeeper. The year. He's very decorated for a twenty four year old. Yeah, he definitely looks it. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of. And Ramadan. you've got, the, and you've got the unique nationality. So, like, you know, tick that off you. Yeah, it's always, always exciting when you can just find someone from a really niche nation to, uh, to bring into the team. Right, I'm ready to play you now, Tom. Like, enough okay. of the ni- enough of the niceties. I'm go- no more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm like Mr. Potato Head. Game face is on. Game face is on. This is the game that uh, everyone wants to be winning. <laughs> I'm more than happy to get kicked off and uh, have to sit through the uh, staff members starting new deals. <laughs> so very quick highlight. It's oh, fine. Demancic. We're fine. Everything's so, fine. Demancic is my six foot seven centre back who, in his final season or the final season that we've recorded, has just scored twenty four goals at centre back. Ah, okay. He's one of those. He's one of those who just loves putting them in the back of your net from the near post corners. <laughs> He is fantastic. Right, Alejandro. To K- Kapanu always gets booked. People have asked me to put on a T-shirt. I'm nervous Kapanu's booked because it happens every <laughs> game. Every single match without fail, he will get a book- booking. But then he's usually quite well behaved. I realise yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm now willing this into existence, the fact he'll get sent off in his swan song, his final farewell on YouTube. I really hope he does. I really <laughs> hope he does. And if he does, I think we need that T-shirt to be made at some point, definitely. Now, you see, normally, if I was in a Champions League game and I'm ahead in the fir- after the first leg, I'm taking him off after 20 minutes. I'm not even <laughs> risking it with him. So I but, guess he has quite a few suspensions every season then? Uh, he only gets booked in the big games, it feels like. He's, you know, it's a necessary evil just to get one over on, like, the opposition. Yeah, he's, like. he's a big game player and just gets fired up for them, right? Like, that's you know, him. I mean, yeah. He, let he, the opposition uh, know you're there. As we've established, he's not really a footballer. He can just win the ball back. He's like a dog. <laughs> he's like a, you know, an enforcer in hockey. I don't know if you, so in ice yes. hockey, there's an enforcer, which is basically the person on your team who's just a bit of a brute who gets in all the fights. Isn't yeah? You know, they have some hockey talent, but that's not really what they're there for. He's a bit like that in the middle. Oh, Ramadani. Oh, I told I told you his shot stopping's good. He's yeah, not, not going to let me down. Yeah, that shot stopping of eighteen is come out there because that was a certain goal. I thought I'm still in shot. That's not going in. Varela's <laughs> still in shot. That's not gone in. I you, can't believe that. I must admit, players aren't doing very well so far. No, my but players are pretty poor we're as well. Ha- we're hanging no on. Six six. 
I'm more, I'm more looking at the fact we've had one shot, but we have Hannibal Mejbri to whip in the ball onto Gavardiol's forehead. I realise we've both got a Croatian centre-back whose yeah, forehead yeah, we aim some, for. They make some good centre-backs, don't they? Um, oh, that's on, a ball. Go on, lad. That was oh, a good ball. He stops just... it again. You can't, you can't stop Ramadani stopping it. You can't you stop. Can't. I also I, noticed I, that you're playing like a, a, a centre mid and a CDM as the, as the centre well, mid. Capanu has there. no concept of centre mid. Oh, okay, so that's what, that's literally it. There's no special tactical thing about it or like game breaking tactic. It's just he can't play centre mid. Um, I mean, to be fair, it's worked quite well for us because I find I feel like sometimes when you play a four-two-three-one, your centre attack, like if they have a centre attack in mid, you can cause some issues getting it like in the gap. Yeah, so okay. I find that Kapanu, like he drops in a little deeper like this, and he's, you know, he's pretty reasonable with the ball at his feet. Oh, Jose Ramon to see a Pina. Um, mm. Did Poor. Peter shout something at him there? Because I, I like. That, I hope so. He, hope he normally really he normally bangs well. that in. I think he scared him off a little bit, and he was a little bit taken aback by it. But uh, his uh, leadership's only four for Peter, so maybe he's, I don't know. He's maybe a little oh. bit. Oh, he's nearly, he's nearly got the rebound with a sliding tackle. <sighs> he, whatever Peter said, this guy's fired up now. He is trying <laughs> to get goals in left, right, and centre. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a change. I'm bringing in Conse Sal, another real player. I, I have like a surprisingly large amount of them. I realise you do have like four or five that I've noticed. Also, yeah. Lucas Tussar's coming in, another real one on off the bench, just for Siapina. I rate that massive. Oh, not for Siapina, sorry, for Capanu. Uh, Siapina well, and yellow card. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, Capano and Siapina. Uh, imagine getting those muddled up after five years of having them both in the team. <laughs> yeah. So I'd I'm going to make some changes as well. Oh. Because none of my players are performing brilliantly. I'm going to take Baptiste Bont off, and I'm going to bring on a guy called Martin Anderson, who's actually nicknamed to Tam McLumper in uh, in game, and he's a player that we've had since he came through our youth intake, and he's just been good enough to stay in the team pretty much for the entire time. And then I might even, I might take Jens Neve off for the Greek god Evangelis Alexandris. The Greek god? Do you not just call him Zeus, or was that? Well, Evangelis Alexandris is a cooler name. I feel that's his actual in-game that, name as well. Ah, uh, okay, that there. is pretty good. So I'm a big fan of that. We're going to bring those two on just to try and change. You the got a few a bookings, bit. I've noticed. Also, Alexandro just... at centre back. I assume that's a different Alexandro, and you've not got a 45 year old. No, it's a different one, but he has got like 18 pace, which is mental for a centre back. Has, so that's why he's in. The I was going to say that's quite good, isn't it? Oh, is right. this a, is this a long throw special? Am I in the streamer uh, showdown? Have I not been told? Um, ha, with the long throw. Actually, a qualifier for it. So <laughs> the long throws are in there. I right. can't believe that's not worked out though. Hannibal. Oh, it's all the real players linking up. If you score this goal late on here. Oh, Hannibal Medjbri. Cause Medjbri. You're going to be the one that saves me. Because after all, you're my Hannibal. Sorry, I have wow. to sing the whole song when he scores. It's essential. No, I, I respect that. I respect that. Let's and go. Release it on Spotify. He actually got a red card in real life against Lincoln City a few weeks ago. So uh, Did he? I mean, there could yeah. be more. I've just sung us. If you score, I am expecting a song. This is turning into a musical, Tom. I mean, I'll I think hope, of something very quickly. I hope you've got but... the chance ready. Come on. Come on, come on! It's Bryce, De not Pascal. It's Bryce oh, it's a Delaney great who goes down. It's, you're wrong, ref. You're wrong. It's a penalty. Right, Ramadani. Ramadani's ready. Yang Cavalcanti. I picked big, big him up, up massively for this moment, Tom. Don't let me down. Come on! Oh, he yes. scored. His right, where's the song, Tom? The wheels on my chair have just fallen off. <laughs> I know it's, that's a. Uh, the wheels on the bus go round and round, uh, I think, is the name of the song, Tom. No, as in the actual wheels on my chair fell off and I fell off my chair celebrating when I jumped back uh, a little bit. Though. I mean, I feel like I've not done enough now. If I've not fallen off my <laughs> chair. Not I'm not, not falling off my chair celebrating, so I've clearly not done enough. <laughs> and it's, are we I'm okay getting, now? I'm okay. The wheels are back on. I'm back on my chair and uh, I'm back on my seat, a little red-faced, but that was not ideal. Right, uh, see a be a good clip for the video, though I'm sure. <laughs> I look forward to seeing that. I'm Come imagining on. it in my head. Oh, Cavani! I mean, we, sh we should be winning this game. I've looked at the match stats, and we've had 15 shots to your nine. Come on, boys! Sebastian Barella. We're, we're a great, we're a gritty team here in Santander. 
Oh, you hate to see it. Tam now, Farge is very, very quick. Oh, but hopefully not quick enough. Oh. I mean, Peter's been tested. He has been tested. Oh, oh. Another. The set pieces from Mejbri are quite good. I think he had 30 assists in his last season. Oh, wow, I mean, that's pretty impressive. I've bigged that up and then he's done that. He's just, yeah, he's just, yeah, he's yeah. just let me down. <laughs> the game listens to you. It knows what you've said. And it's oh, gonna no, this, it. this could be bad. This could be Come bad. on, Bryce. Come on, Bryce. Swing it in the middle. Oh, it's a great block. We'll, ta we'll take it. Everything's fine. And I feel like it's going to have to go to extra time here. Is there, no, no, is there golden goal? I, 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 honestly, I don't know how I've set this one up if I'm honest. <laughs> I'll be honest, it might actually just finish. <laughs> yep, it's just finished. <laughs> you know what? Um, it's, we, we're, we're all winners, everyone. You know what? I, I'd take that. I would take that should completely. We just, should we share the tray? How do we share the belt? Um, I will have to s cut it in half and send you half of it. I just realised it says at the top, Jack is a loser, because you named the competition Jack is a loser. <laughs> yeah, I, I, so actually, I think I've won there, because the competition is saying that you're a loser. So I, I can't argue with it. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. After our beta saves in FM22, we'll do a rematch for all the marbles. Okay, I like the Who are you managing in the beta? I assume we can still export teams, though. We might not be able to do that. Now I, I think about... Because there's yeah, no touch. Out, is we'll, it? we'll figure it. We'll do a draft or something. We'll figure we'll out a something. way to do part two. Because I feel like whoever you do might be better than my Brentford team at this stage. I mean, I, I'm looking at Newcastle at the moment. Ah, well, there's the money. So then. I might there's have Mbappe. <laughs> yeah, that would be a little bit unfair, I feel. I feel like at this stage, we've got very similar teams. That's why I was so happy to do all this stuff right now. Yeah. But that might be a little bit unfair. But we'll work something out 100%. We'll, we'll figure it out and... If, if anything, I've won because you've set it up incorrectly. It was your error that's led to this. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I can't really. I need I can't a, deny I can, that. This is the last ever game I'm playing with this Racing team, and we're ending on a draw. Like that's almost worse than losing. Especially in the game bigger than the Champions League final as well. I'll get over it. Apparently, you've set it up as two legs. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> I'll just check. Anyway, it's a knockout well, competition. There, there's no second leg, everyone. Not today. Maybe, Not maybe today. another day, but. Uh, the Jack is the loser competition ends in a draw. That makes you a loser as well. You are as big a loser as me. And the average rating, best oh, average rating, no. Ramadani in goal. So give him, give him player of the tournament. Yeah, he is. He, literally, he is the best player out of either of these two teams. That's what we've decided right now. <laughs> oh, I feel like we've derailed the end of this video, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you very much for coming on, Jack. Uh, where can people find you for FM22? Um, you can find me over on YouTube. Uh, that is YouTube. You, you know YouTube's URL. Work the space on YouTube. Same on Twitter. Same on Twitch. You can find all the links at work the dot space. If you just type that in your web browser, it will go to a website that has links to everything. Wow, that's fantastic. What, what a clever bit of... I know, dot is. space domains though, but people think it looks like a dodgy link, so they never really click it. Uh, but yeah. it, lo it looks cool on a business card, so... Yeah, if I get like a dot .fm link, that might make it look like a dodgy radio station, but I'd, I'd quite like that, I think. Maybe you are a dodgy radio station. Well, people people tune in every day for the, <laughs> for the show. Oh, coming up next on the show is... Is... Adele's new album as a world exclusive. Hello, it's me. Yeah. No, I'm not doing, <laughs> I'm not doing that right. End the video. I'm done. I'm done. End the video. I put my done. hand over the lens. We're finished. So in the end, that one ended up as a draw, which I think is very unfair. I think I just about deserve the win there, but we'll have to have a rematch at some point down the line in FM22. Of course, thank you very much to Jack for coming onto the channel and helping me out with this video. Much appreciated. And I will leave links to all of his channels and social media down in the description for you guys to find. Let me know in the comment section who you want to come on in the future and hopefully we can try and make that happen as well with other people's saves. I still think I have got the best team in all of FM21 so I'm happy to take anyone on so leave your suggestions down below. But obviously not a lot of time before FM22 comes out. So make sure you do drop a like on today's video for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're around here for FM22 content and I will see you next time. Have a good one. Goodbye.